everyone, it's Raziel Kane. I'm back with another tour review and today let's start with the French word of the day Bataille à travers les temps which is actually a French phrase for battle across time and I'm really happy my parents got me this set for Christmas it was part of our gift exchange and on my list there was this set and then uh, Rec uh, Recgar and Gnaw but this is a set that I really wanted because I wanted to have a nerd alt mode sideswipe but also I'm interested in the uh, Skywarp figure and I don't know anything about that figure I don't know if he's the same Skywarp reformatted for the Beast War is it a, just a new character taking a namesake I have no idea but the paint job on it seems really interesting so when I put that on my list I was really hoping this is what I was gonna get and here it is they're already out of the box of course you know me I can keep those in cardboard the prison so let's take a look at these figures. Even with one arm, Prime is primo! Outside of the box, I think they both look really good. Uh, we're gonna take a look at Skywarp first. Of course, you've seen this mold, so we'll forego instructions. The difference in paint application is astounding. Very different. The face sculpt is completely different. Uh, he still has a beak on top of his head, and the, you can tell that the face is completely different from what Air Razor had. But everything else is the same except for the paint. The missiles are could use a they could have used a different uh, paint application. I mean, white, but with some highlights would have been nicer. The legs, it's the same same mold. Uh, the legs are. Uh, all white there's uh, the feet are the same um, but uh, they have two layers of colors or two tones of colors if you prefer and then in the back that's where you shine it's really more eagle like because this one's an eagle even if it's the same mold this one is an eagle while air razor was a peregrine falcon but the level of details for the feathers is still astounding and a different uh, paint with the white tip really makes it shine. And now for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, uh, you can spot the paint differences. I think the shading here was done better from the darker tone to the lighter one. Really good. Uh, two coat of paint here. Only one on the foot though, so you know they added more details to the nails or the claws. But then here it's only one color, it's two here. Uh, here it's only one color, here it's two here. So it's different on each figure. And uh, they where they did two colors on one, one color on the other, just to make them very different. You know, see two colors here, just one here. And then the same thing, they could have used more details on the guns. As you can tell, the head sculpt, extremely different. She's my favorite character in Beast Wars. I think she was highly underused. And I wish we could have seen more of her. With Skywarp here, like I said, I know nothing of this character. But I think both figures are really different from one another enough. The paint job makes all the difference. And now to take a look at Sideswipe. We know this mold. The articulations are the same. The face sculpt is the same. The gun is different. Uh, instead of the black and red, we have an all white. Which if I look at my... Uh, poster from G1 that I got from Mark Lorber this is more accurate you can tell the difference in molding for the hood the doors it doesn't have those little pins uh, which I'll compare to earlier which easily break if you force them the legs are uh, articulated the same but you have a very very different detail in the back and the translucent blue rather than the black that we had with the siege mold so I'm not going to spend too much time over this figure because we've all seen it and let's do some uh, comparison. Here he is with the Siege Mold and I think it's different enough to be very interesting to me. No battle damage and the hood is completely different yet similar. Uh, the head is the same, the gun like I said is different. Uh, the, hand, the much brighter white on the paint uh, really makes it pop. Uh, they replaced the silver with some white, which I think looks nice. Uh, added some details here to the legs rather than the battle damage. Different foot color. Looks like the top, they've remolded a couple things here. They added some uh, windows on this side. And that's going to be 
very interesting later and uh, the whole window here is also different and the back of the legs although the transformation is the same they were able to make it very different and i think that's a, yeah, a very nice touch and now for additional comparison here is skywarp with kingdom megatron who towers over the figure and the original Skywarp. And now Kingdom Sideswipe with Siege Red Alert and Sound Barrier. And his brother Sunstreaker, which I will refuse ever to put that blow dryer in his hand. Alright, and now I won't bother with transformation because we've all seen these molds a couple times. Let me just transform them and uh, we'll take a look at them in alt mode. And now in alt mode. Alright, I'm done. And in alt mode, I think they look. Fantastic. Let's take a look at Skywarp first. He does look more like an eagle just because of the paint scheme. It just goes to show him how much a little paint can really change a figure. I think he's uh, hiding the robot part quite nicely in this area, but you can tell here the arms and of course, well, the legs, which are just flip toes and angled differently. But what I like is that in flight mode, you can just push everything back Come on, I want to force it like this and it just looks like a beautiful flight mode. And actually, if you want to see a very well animated uh, wing uh, movement, go check uh, Lazy Eyebrow. He released a video, I think this week, um, and it's just the animation, the, the articulation on this figure really really looks good when doing stop motion uh paint sorry I forgot the paint on the back the details are still very amazing and the the paint makes it really eagle-ish i guess you can store the weapon here which is yeah kind of okay but uh overall with the yellow beak he looks very different let's compare him with its mold mate air razor and Although they're the exact same mold with a different head sculpt, the paint makes it so different. None is better than the other. I prefer Air Razor because of the character, but I think both paint job really gives them a different look. This is an eagle the first time you look at it. This is a Peregrine Falcon the first time you look at it. It's fantastic. Um, like I said, I wish they would have used uh, a little more paint on Air Razor for her claws. Or Talon, maybe she's lacking a little bit there. The wings, he has more details on the outside, while she has uh, a better detail on the inside with the fading. And now we're going to take a look at Sideswipe. I think this is a perfect Earth mode. Uh, you can see a bit of the robot, but they got rid of the pin which i'll show in a moment the fact that you can peg both guns it's pretty uh, pretty cool the fact that we have two guns uh and the, well the rocket launcher and missile launcher and the gun looks good chromed wheels i think that should be a standard in every figure but this looks like an earth car a lamborghini i think it's really 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 nice and now let's do some comparison with the siege mold but i do think that the siege mold is one of the better one because of the reusability of it and also the looks of it the translucent window this one hides the robot uh, parts a little more this is very clear but you can see all the stuff inside you can see that there's no seats very easily and i think it's something that was present with the classics line and the original g1 you had seats uh, this time you don't have I can understand this mold not having seats because it's a Cybertronian mode. But if you want to be a robot in disguise, you might want to have some seats. So that's something that could have been done a little better. The hinge should have been red on both here. You know, it looks okay. I like the fact that they added a little uh, black bumper and, uh, you know, larger headlights. The Autobot logo shines a little more. Um, great mold. And... So, great update to the Siege version. Let's do some more comparison with my son's Transformers. I bought these two for my three years old, who's now four years old, because he was able to transform my Sideswipe and Red Alert at that age. 
and they made great gifts. I don't give him the accessories because I know he's going to lose them. It's really cool to see my son play with these two repaints because the molding is the same, but the paint makes a hell out of a difference. Except, you know, this is clear so you can see a lot of the junk. This is completely black so you can't see inside. So I think this looks better. Uh, but there's more highlights on Tiger Track uh, than on the Netflix deep cover. Um, but and also you have more guns. You know, it's funny. All of these figures are at the same price point. But some come with one gun some with the other gun some with two guns i don't know maybe paint is you know this one has less paint application so two guns and this one has less paint application so two guns but this one oh he has a little paint application one gun that's the only thing i can see why they would do that but anyway with the siege red alert which i think that this window is better because you can see anything inside and the light bar looks really good too This is the comparison that I've been wanting to show you guys. I'm just gonna push this back a little more so I can play with it. But this is the comparison I've been wanting to do. I'm just gonna remove the accessories, uh, which are really tight, apparently. Come on. And go away. Now, I have to say that I'm surprised that none of the YouTubers I follow did this comparison they compared it to other figure but not with sunstreaker his twin brother and this is what i've been waiting for because they updated the alt mode so that it looks like sunstreaker same window detail on the side actually i have a little scuff here but you know this is a uh, two pieces well three pieces this one is only one pieces i wish they would have used the same uh, color for the windows um, to me that would have just made sense but that's what I like about this mold it's it it's updated to look like him sorry it's not pegged properly there you go you have the same detail here the same detail on the window the same headlight uh, you know the, the 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 hood is on the same shape and the wheels are you know painted the same and i think that's fantastic the only thing missing here is two holes for if you want to add a uh, upgrade kit which i don't get upgrade kits because a four or five dollar plastic upgrade is 15 bucks shipping so i'm not gonna pay triple the shipping for anything so i've been on every store etsy's and uh the other one uh, i can't remember now every upgrade kit i've been thinking of buying shipping always pulls me away from it because it's absolutely not worth it so i think they could have added something here so that you can peg a upgrade kit spoilers and i think that they should have used the same color but this is the comparison i've been wanting to do to be able to have very very similar alt mode for the twins as you know sunstreaker is my favorite figure so he's close behind and i'm really happy to have two art modes for these characters all right so they're back in robot mode and i'm really happy my parent got me that set thank you mom and dad it's fantastic i love both of these molds i like both of these paint jobs i think sideswipe is a nice update from the siege mold the fact that i can put them side by side with sunstreaker in very similar art mode to me that's a real plus and then Skywarp, a character that I knew nothing about, but I'm starting to really enjoy that paint job. I think it's really different enough to be a lot of fun. So thanks guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, subscribe and hit the bell. Also leave a comment. I love reading those. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.